Ladies, welcome back to the channel. And we're uh, working on our psychedelic 60s uh, group build for, over at uh, 60 Rules. Dan, the man's uh, hosting it. And we decided we're going to jump in. And uh, we're, we're, we're doing a uh, 64 and a half Mustang convertible, as you see. So we got everything washed up. Uh, Don dishwashing liquid. And now we're going to go through all these parts. Decide what of this stays out of <laughs> LA Awesome. Or Totally Awesome. LA Totally Awesome. One of those. And uh, on this one, we're going to back them up in engine parts, chassis parts, body parts. And then we'll tag what parts is going to get painted what. Yeah. What are we going to do with the body? I don't know yet. I haven't thought that far ahead. Will we paint the interior? I don't know. We'll work it out. Okay, well, let me work on this, and <laughs> we'll bring you back. You don't want to sit there and watch me both turn the pages and cut, cut, and all that awesome stuff. You got better things to do. Like Lucas C says, why do you watch this crap? <laughs> okay. Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> okay, we've got all of our parts sorted. We have our chassis parts. We have our body parts. We have interior parts. Whip that way. And then we have all the engine components. Yeah, the master cylinder is in here. They're chrome. They're getting dechromed. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here. This uh, <laughs> Buzz is hiding a lot of it. Uh, chrome pieces that uh, are for the body that are going to get dechromed. Same way with the. Uh, there's an alternator in here. Uh, I don't know about the valve cover. I may leave it chrome. Just for giggles. So there we have it. That's uh, we have the uh, bucket and the chassis sitting in the body right now, just for video sake. None of this stuff has been cleaned up. It's just been chopped off the sprue. There's the sprue. Found out today how to make sprue glue. <laughs> I know. It's simple as walking across the street, but I did not know the particulars, you know. So I asked. So I was I was told and I We'll try to do so, because I got a bottle of glue that's just about low enough where I can start stuffing sprue in it. You know, I didn't know what color sprue, chrome, non-chrome, whatever. Anyhow, that has, nothing, that has nothing to do with this. So, this is what we're doing. We'll bring you back when we do something new. Peace, man. Because, you know, this is a psychedelic build. I need like a big psychedelic tie-dye shirt or something laying here, don't I? <laughs> Catch you in the next segment. So we spent about a couple hours here and there. Uh, yesterday, a little bit today, working on a couple of different other kits, uh, group builds, and... Uh, this is our 66 and a half Mustang.
straight cruiser or, or uh, yeah one of those cruisers classic cruiser there you go I know how to think of it old oh, man brain fart uh, I missed a spot we have the body all cleaned up <clears throat> we put the valance panels in got the uh, filler in and then before you ask I, I know that guy back there in the corner got his hand up just, just hold, hold your shorts uh, screw this stuff uh, I like it. It's uh, easy to use. Easy, and it sands well. Although it said it dries almost immediately. It's for, it's an acrylic. <laughs> well, if you put it on real tan, yeah. Uh, this is this here is actually two coats, two different coats, and uh, it's all filled in really good. I did the front end the same way. And uh, those are the gaps that are in there. And yes, I checked. The chassis will slide in underneath there. No problem. Uh, of course, th this is the body tub. There's not a whole lot in there. Uh, got that all cleaned up and ready to go. And this is the hood. It's all uh, fitted. I trimmed the little hooks here down just a little bit so I can get it in off on and off the car easier. Okay. Then we have, whoa, we had the convertible top. And it had a, a sinkhole there, so I fixed that that green putty uh, usually on that green putty if you just let it sit overnight it's, it's fine uh, this is all cleaned up ready to go the back window fits in there very well now that's going to get painted uh, black I do believe Oh, look at there, you can see the sinkhole. See it? <laughs> I'd say that's pretty pretty deep hole. Didn't realize that. Huh. Ain't that amazing? And then we have a. Uh, the boot cover, tunnel cover, whatever kind of cover you want. Hose that covers up the roof once you let it down. And of course, then we got the chassis. That's all ready. All these parts you're, you're seeing so far, I'm going to prime her with this. I got this off of eBay. eBay. It's got this stuck in my head today. I got this off of uh, Amazon for 12 bucks. I thought, okay, sure. <laughs> I should have bought two. Could have been an error. Anyway, that's what we're going to paint this stuff with. And then, the, uh, then we have all the body parts ready, you know. Exhaust systems and the engines uh, been put put together. The block and the heads. Uh, the seat backs have been put together and sanded down. And then we got to. Uh, Can get it out of there. I want to, and I want to show it. Now this bumper is the front bumper, and I doubt if you can tell. But I had to add add pieces uh, back here on the back side of these. 
to make it thicker. Nope, ain't gonna do it because uh, it was not fitting right to get the bumper sides to be level instead of cocked or cocked like this like a mad bull getting ready to charge I had to add those pieces in there the rear bumper fits fine all the other pieces fit fine um, the uh, instrument panel is uh, chromed so I'm leaving that uh, there are a bunch of other parts I dechromed carburetors, alternators, and things like that. Uh, so, that's all this stuff here is going to get primered with this. Try try this, Mr. Finishing Servicer uh, 1500 Gray. Uh, I want to try that out. I got some uh, black and mahogany both coming. You know, you try, you want to try stuff out. And it's six bucks a bottle. That's not too far out of line, I guess. Uh, that's a, it's a lacquer base. Uh, kind of like this. I'm pretty sure this is lacquer based. Uh, have not read the can, but I just about bet it is. The, um, I've ch chosen some paint colors. And I lost my spoon well, where did my spoon go? Well, I tell you, I'm really ready for these videos. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the body color is going to be uh, this dork work. Or, yeah, dork. <laughs> Uh, life on Mars. And this is what it looks like. It's a real nice bronze, bronzy, I don't know, metallic, copper, bronzy look. Uh, I like that look. So, uh, I think I'm going to do the interior this color. And this is uh, Copper XF6 to me. Uh, and we're, of course, we're going to use, a flat, use our flat black somewhere. Uh, and we're going to use gloss black on the frame. And then we're going to use some gold leaf X12 in there somewhere. And of course, you've got to have gun metal. That's probably, that's for the engine. And then we're going to use uh, bronze X33. That looks good together. That's going to be kind of that's going to be some accent color inside. That may even be the interior. I'm not. I'm kind of leaning towards that one too. I haven't made up my mind for sure. And then we got flat earth. That, uh, it kind of looks good with that too. Uh, that we're going to use for accents on, on some colors. Uh, or accent for, you know. But the, uh, I don't know. The bronze and the... Uh, Copper, both look good with this. If I raise this up here, you guys can see better. Get it where you can see it. And it's not quite so shiny. Any oh, lights are shining on it so much. But uh, here we go. Maybe that works. But I, I like them both, and I'm not, I'm undecided which one's going. Who's going to win? It'll be a toss-up. <laughs> but I really like that color. Uh, I got some others. 
This is uh, another segment for the 1964 psychedelic group build hosted by Dan the Man. And today we're going, we've done some primer, primarine. It's a hard word to say. On the uh, body parts. And now we're going to paint some of the chassis parts and things. And we're going to use our new Mobius 0 0.30 millimeter airbrush from Gallery. Now, as you've seen in the uh, unboxing video and mini teardown, <laughs> uh, this is an awesome brush. And I have not used it yet, so this is going to be the first time. We're quite excited. It's been a few days. I've had this for about a week, and I've been chomping at the bit. But I wanted to get other things done first, so I could use this. <laughs> yeah, chomping at the bit. That's good, Bruce. Awful original. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, we're going to mix up some uh, satin black paint, acrylic. We have all of our parts on sticks. Uh, everything. Where's my hand? Everything on this side is going to be black. And a lot of, and some of this stuff is going to be re-chromed, and I'm going to be using my. Uh, Super AK Chrome. And we're going to use... Set that right there. We're going to use this also to do that. So that'll be probably another segment. Because when I spray the black, it's got to dry for a day or two. And I have used this AK Chrome stuff. And it is some awesome stuff. No wonder everybody's raving about it. <laughs> Worth the 26 bucks, I keep saying. Uh, I do want to try the green. What's the name of it? Oh, it's the same people that makes this. Green stuff. Green stuff world. Uh, chrome. I hear good things about it too. And it's <laughs> about half the price of that. So, hey. Living on a social security check, you know, you kind of got to. Go with what you, what's cheap. <laughs> it's not that I'm cheap. I just got to live cheap. Because we do have to eat and feed the puppies. So we're going to get this stuff mixed up. And I'll bring you back on the mobile camera. <laughs> and show you a little bit of the airbrush. So stay tuned. Okay. Uh, welcome over to the paint booth. Hi. <laughs> we have our paint ready. And we have our new Mobius premium brush ready. I run this on 20 pounds of air pressure. I've done run some alcohol through it. It sprays okie dokie. So I will be turning the uh, microphone off. And I'll just record me painting. I'll throw some music in there, maybe. <laughs> Have fun watching. Okay, all the parts I have laying right here are going to be re-chromed. And that 
and just like that little mirror I just did. Okay. There, you, there you go. That is an awesome brush. Uh, my finger's not tired either. I mean, I, I was just barely pressing, pulling back on that, and it was. Uh, I know you probably couldn't see, but I was painting that floor mat in there, and it was really, really putting it down really nice for a 0.3 needle and of course I still got the cap on it so it uh, as you can see that's on paper
That's uh, that's not bad. Not bad on paper. Uh, <laughs> oh, paper towel, I should say. Uh, so we're going to pick, go ahead and put the other coats on after it dries a bit and go to lunch. Yeah, lunchtime. Got to take that shot. So. Stay tuned for the next segment. Bye. So there you have it. Uh, that's the first update. And uh, we'll be back with update number two very shortly. Be kind to your neighbors. You never know when you're going to see them again. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye for now.